I have got a very, very exciting day ahead of me. I'm not sure that my face is probably gonna <laughs> portray how excited I am for what I'm doing today. Because I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> I am just driving. It's Monday morning, I'm on my way back from um, kind of Birmingham area. I've been, last couple of weekends, I've been away at like van festivals and things and I am kind of partied out, to be honest with you. Um, we went to a festival, I can't remember what it was called. Um, it was in Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, a friend texted me on like Thursday and said, oh, do you want to come down and like crew? So, I went down there for the weekend. Of course, stayed up too late drank too much and then last night I went left the festival just went up kind of Birmingham area to England played last night Serbia so I just went and watched watched that with a friend and I'm now on my way back up north I think I got about 50 minutes left or so on the journey but the day's a struggle I've got to be honest <laughs> <laughs> it's a struggle. I woke up to it. My problem is I wake up at like five o'clock and I'm raring to go and then like by nine o'clock I'm knackered. <laughs> I should learn to sleep till, until at least seven or something but anyway. Um, it was beautiful when I left uh, but I was like Nuneaton, not Birmingham, I was in Nuneaton. Um, it was a beautiful lovely day in Nuneaton and now as I'm coming up here it's grey and miserable. Never mind. Now my plan, obviously you know what I'm doing because of the title of this video, <laughs> but my plan is to, I was hoping to get a lift. The van is over, I found it last week, and it's over Leeds Way. And I was hoping that Stephen would be able to take me, drive me over, and I can pick up the van. It's probably about, I think about an hour, 40 minutes drive away from mine but Stephen's working so he can't. So I just had a little look this morning about trains. I'm gonna get the train over. I've gotta get home. I think I'll park at the train station, park the car at the train station. I've gotta get a train from there to Preston, change at Preston and head over to Leeds. And the guy that I'm buying the van off is kindly gonna pick me up from the train station. It's like 10 minutes or so from his house. I kind of can't actually believe I'm buying this van to be honest. And I, um, so excited for it and I, I, I can't afford it if I'm on no I can afford the van that's not that's not true I can afford the van but because then I'm gonna convert it with the help of a friend it's all the that stuff I can't I can't afford the conversion really so I don't know I don't know the plan of whether I'll do it in stages over a long period of time or, or what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna go and pick it up today anyway after the 40 last night we got a Domino's to eat in the van and um, I'm just munching on leftovers from the drive home. Oh my goodness me, honestly, this drive is difficult. <laughs> I've got about, what time is it? Oh, maybe like 25 more minutes. I saw a wish. Oh, I just wish I wasn't getting the van today and I was getting it tomorrow. Oh, I could just have to go home, have a relaxing day today, get a good night's sleep and go tomorrow morning. Oh, but no, get it done, we'll get it done. I might try and have a little kip on the train, to be honest, although I've got to, I've got to change. I don't know, wait. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm here at the station. The next station stop is. I have arrived at Preston, one train journey done. I've got about 20 minutes to wait for the next one. I honestly feel like a zombie. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's a shame this van hasn't got any form of in, anything in the back where I could sleep because I would just stay there tonight and then drive back tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be difficult.
Leeds station. Look at this. I'm assuming, I think this is the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Crazy. Well, it's a miserable day in Leeds. Okay, I've just phoned the guy. He's gonna come round here to meet me, but I'm not sure where cars can come in. Over here. This is crazy. Where should I go? I'm so confused. I don't know where to go. He sent me a picture of where he is. Maybe this way. I'm here. There she is. Okay, done all the paperwork and everything. Made my transfer. And um, it's not going through because obviously it's a large amount. My phone barks please and they can't help me for an hour which is great so we're just kind of hanging around I've been sat in his house a little bit and having a little walk fingers crossed the payment goes through soon I don't know why she couldn't help me on the phone but she couldn't finally payment's gone through I've got the van oh, oh that took about an hour and a half crazy I don't care though It is the following day, because I was far too knackered yesterday. <laughs> I just got home and went to bed. This is the van. Let me show you inside. She is just an empty shell. Right now. And then in the front, this is the front. I love her so much. I can't believe it. I bought a van. It's kind of insane to me that I've actually gone and bought this van. I'm so excited. It's been, how long has it been since the, my old van went into the garage? Like, oh, it's been me, I don't know, nine months or so since I've been without a van. And I've just bought this one. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I'm so, so excited to get started. It'll probably be a few weeks until I get started on the conversion. Like, I'll, I'll probably just go out on it like this, to be honest. Like, just chuck a bed in there and bits and pieces that I need. It's not, you know, I don't need it converted to be able to go out on it. So, um, yeah, it'll be a few weeks. I've got a busy couple of weeks coming up, to be honest. It'll be a few weeks before the conversion gets started. I'm pretty sure I kind of know my layout. Um, I'll just have to do like some bits of measurements and things just to check that things will fit and like I said before I think I said before uh, I'm <laughs> affording this is going to be difficult um, I kind of want a maybe I don't know whether this is silly but I kind of want a electric hob rather than a gas hob because I don't really want to have gas in the van but then if I have electric, then that obviously means I've got to up my electrical system and the electrics is, you know, quite an expensive part of it. But I don't know what I'm going to use from my old van. I need to, like, have a little look at my old van. I don't think... I initially was going to use the battery and the inverter and things, but I don't think I am going to now. I think I am going to go new. But I can probably use, like, the... Oh, I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> But yeah, I have a new van and I cannot wait to get out exploring and having some amazing adventures in it. Thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.